This is the weirdest thumbnail I've ever had to take. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about some of my creepy crawlies because I feel like my creepy crawlies haven't gotten very much love on my channel in a while. So if you are afraid of things with a lot of legs or afraid of any, you know, kind of like millipedes in general, basically, please stick around and I will show you that they're not all scary like people think they are because I posted them to my Instagram story and everyone just like freaked out and thought they were so gross and scary and everyone was like, no, like no. But trust me, they're not scary. They're so cool and they're amazing and I love them, okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you guys my African giant millipede. She just pooped all over me and now she is just really happy. So I actually introduced a giant African millipede on my channel a while ago and his name is Lego and I do still have Lego. However, Lego is actually a lot smaller than my other giant African millipedes. So I have a few of them. I'm actually trying to breed them currently, but I thought I would introduce you to at least one of the big ones and kind of go over some really cool stuff about them because they're actually really fascinating creatures. And there's a lot of stuff that I think people assume about millipedes and, you know, similar creatures to these that simply aren't true. So to start off, it is called an African giant millipede. The scientific name is a gigas or Archispirostreptus gigas is the full scientific name for these guys. Again, also known as African giant millipedes. You could also just call it a really big millipede. So first we gotta address the very first thing you're gonna notice about this guy, and that is that he has got a lot of legs going on down there. Millipede literally means thousand legs. However, they actually don't have a thousand legs. They actually can have from around 300 to 400 legs, which is still a lot of legs. We're about halfway to a thousand. And obviously the amount of legs they have will depend on their size and just from millipede to millipede, they don't all have the same amount of legs. And when they molt and as they grow, they get more legs. If you look really closely, you can actually see that they have a bunch of segments and each segment has four legs. And a millipede typically has around 30 to 40 segments. So if you count the amount of segments your millipede has, you can kind of estimate how many legs it has because each segment is four, excluding a few of the segments that don't have legs. And another fun fact is that these guys are actually not insects. People are very quick to call these things bugs or insects, and they're technically not insects. They're considered arthropods. And arthropods are different from insects, so don't call this guy an insect. He will be very offended with you. He's an arthropod. Insects typically have three segments. Arthropods have multiple segments. They have more than three. And what's also really cool about them is the way they breathe. They have a bunch of pores under each of their segments that they actually breathe through. So they do not have like lungs like we do. They breathe with tiny pores on their underside called spiracles. The next really cool thing that I wanna talk about is their defense mechanisms because they are kinda unique with their defense mechanism and they are also very different from centipedes. You do not wanna mistake a centipede and a millipede. They are two completely different things. Centipedes freak me out, okay? Their legs are kinda scary and I'm not okay with them yet. I want to get a centipede because I'm drawn to things that scare me and I want to like not be as afraid of them. But one thing that does make centipedes a bit more freaky than millipedes is centipedes are actually venomous. So centipedes can actually bite you and inject venom into you. And some centipedes are more venomous than others and more potent but there are some centipedes that can do some damage if they tend to bite you with their venom. So you don't really wanna mess with centipedes necessarily as much as you wanna mess with millipedes because millipedes in comparison are fairly harmless. So the very first defense mechanism that a millipede has, of course, is their exoskeleton. 
Their exoskeleton is basically just their outer shell and it's made up of calcareous dorsal plates that is what each of their segments are made out of and it is pretty strong and it will protect them. So if a predator comes, the first thing they're gonna do is they're going to curl up into a ball like an armadillo and they just look like little cinnamon rolls when they're curled up in a ball. It's actually kind of cute. They curl up and they rely on their exoskeleton to protect them. They do have another defense mechanism and that is that they secrete a fluid from out of their segments underneath. It's called repugnatorial fluid, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And it's just a fluid that smells and tastes very, very foul to a predator and it's going to make them want to run away because the fluid is nasty. Luckily, she hasn't secreted any fluid on me, but she has pooped on me quite a bit. So I'm not sure which is worse. Aside from that, you really don't have to worry about them biting you. They don't bite. The best that they can really do is curl up into a ball and secrete fluid on you, but even that doesn't really happen too frequently, I don't think. I've never had that happen to me. They just curl up in a ball usually. And aside from all of that technical stuff, these guys are just really cute. Like, tell me that you don't have kind of a soft spot for her. She is our friend and we need to protect them and not be afraid. They're just really, really cool. So you might be wondering, if you're on my channel regularly, then you're probably not questioning any of this. But if you're just an outsider that's stumbling across my video, you're, you're probably like, why, just why? Like, why do you have this? Just what is going on here? So I am very, very intrigued by a lot of different animals. That's why I have a lot of them, but I've specifically recently been really into like tarantulas, scorpions, isopods, just different things that I feel like most people are very repulsed by, but owning them has really made me have an appreciation for them. Millipedes are just little crawly guys. They just literally crawl around. They're like, hello, I'm just trying my best and that's really all there is. And like I mentioned earlier, I do have another giant African millipede named Lego, and I actually thought Lego wasn't an Aegigas originally, but it turns out he actually, I believe, is an Aegigas. It's kind of hard to tell because there's different, there's a couple different types of giant African millipedes. I'm pretty sure at this point that Lego is an Aegigas, so the only difference is Lego is smaller because Lego is younger than the adults but they're actually pretty simple to take care of. They actually just live in basically a tub of dirt with some wood and leaves for them to munch on. And I also feed them fresh vegetables. They only feed on vegetation. They don't eat like meat or anything like that, which I feel like makes them a little bit less scary. Like they just wanna eat some leaves and that's really all they require. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed meeting my giant African millipede. I think that they're super, super cool, and I hope that even if I can get some of you guys to just appreciate them from afar, I feel like I've accomplished something. They can be a little bit intimidating, I totally get it, but they are really harmless, and they're actually really, really interesting, cool creatures, so. If I can just encourage someone out there to be inspired and to not be as fearful of them, then that would be great. If you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, thought it was cool, something, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week. Check out my social media and my vlog channel. Those will be linked down in the description below. And I will see you guys in my next video. This is the weirdest thumbnail I've ever had to take.